Hi guys, Alice Taylor down here at Lytham Golf Academy and today we're going to look at the correct distance to stand from the golf ball. Okay then guys, so how do we find the correct distance to stand from the golf ball? Now this is a question I get asked by a huge number of golfers and I think for me guys are very confused about what they're trying to achieve at setup and kind of where they're trying to get at impact. So what we're looking for for me is to position yourself a distance from the ball that allows you enough room to swing your arms into while maintaining nice balance during the golf swing. So the big thing then is to start at setup to put yourself in a position initially that's balanced, that gives a little bit of room, that allows you when you're moving and become dynamic to maintain that space. So for me the first mistake a lot of guys make is that as they set up to the golf ball, they've been told very much about trying to feel that the weight's very much on the balls or the toes of the feet so that they can move around. Now that's great, and obviously the golf swing is a dynamic movement, but we need to stay anchored to the floor and we need to be able to use the ground to create some power. Now if we can't create power from the ground, there's, there's, there's no speed in the golf swing, therefore you can't hit the ball anywhere, but equally we're gonna lose contact and accuracy. So the big mistake I see with most golfers is as they address the golf ball, the weight's very forward in the feet and they feel they give themselves a really nice stretch. And then you can see that distance from kind of the hands to the legs is huge. And equally my hands are now very much under my eyes. I think as much as guys can stand there at address, it's incredibly difficult to be balanced at impact. So I always think a nice way of feeling where the weight should be in your feet is if you stand up normally day to day, we don't try and get the weight in our toes. Equally, we don't try and go back onto our heels. It's very much over the arches of the feet. So very much our shoulders are over our feet. And if your shoulders are over the, the, the foundation, we've got some stability there. So what I like to see with guys is that our shoulders are very much over our feet, our pressure is very much over the arches of our feet, and then we should just allow our arms to just hang from our shoulders. So kind of very much under our chin, and we'll see the arms hang very much kind of straight down from there. Now once we're in that nice solid position, we can then make that golf swing and as we shift into that lead leg, there's still room to swing into with our arms and the club can swing through to that nice full finish. Now, a lot of golfers do a movement which is called early extension, which I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another video on and that will be on my channel shortly. And what happens is even from a great address position, they then move nearer the golf ball the pressure moves forward in the feet and they actually become cramped for space. So that's another reason why I think guys give themselves that extra room, but it kind of gets them off balance to begin with. So like I said, if we can get ourselves, feel that the weight's very, very solid, we can then move into the golf ball. So the weight over the arches of my feet. Now my arms just feel that they hang from my shoulders. Again, it's keeping the tension out of the arms which is gonna allow us to move nice and freely and maintain the width of our golf swing. And then from there, we can make a nice full swing and remain perfectly in balance. Now, it's gonna take some practice and a good little method to test for you guys would be as you set yourself up to the golf ball, get yourself there and then just lift your toes up just inside your shoes, just a tiny bit off the ground. Feel if that changes where that the pressure and the weight would be in your feet. For most guys, they feel that the pressure is good, but as they lift the toes up, it feels that the pressure moves back a little bit, which again for me would mean they're too far, far from the golf ball. So you could then shuffle in for that distance. You could try hitting some shots with the toes up, see how that feels. And again, should give us that really nice solid foundation for our golf swing. But if you've hit a few shots and that feels comfortable, maybe toes up at address, get your distance from the ball, let those toes relax, and then put that golf swing. And not only will you be more stable, all those impact factors, like swing path, club face, centeredness of strike, 
becomes so much easier if you're the correct distance from the golf ball to begin with at address and then able to maintain that through impact. Okay guys, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like and share it. Comment below if you've tried it. Let me know how it's worked for you. I will try and get back to all of you if I can. Subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Follow me on all the social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact.